no small feat when you realise that Heston's restaurant, The Fat Duck, has three Michelin stars. So Luke is here now. Actually, you started when you were younger. Yep. Um, didn't do the football stuff, didn't do the video games. No. You were in front of the telly watching cookery shows. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it all started, all started by grandmother, really, and then just went on from there. So, so. she must be thrilled. Gosh, she yeah, no, so absolutely, proud. yeah. What are you going to um, cook for us? So, um, really lovely um, spice roasted leg of lamb. We're going to marinate it up, leave it in the fridge to sort of, you know, all the flavours to marry together. Roast it off in the oven for about an hour and a half, leave it to rest, make a nice uh, tzatziki, which is yoghurt, uh, mint, cucumber. So really nice to sort of balance out with the heat and then serve it with a lovely salad. OK. So, so although yeah. people will be is. thinking roasts are for, for winter, for a Sunday, this is like a big summary roast because it's yeah, all no, fresh definitely. and, and it, delish. It would be perfect to do on the barbecue as well this time of year, you know, if you were to get lamb chops or, you know, cut this up into sort of a butterfly piece and barbecue it oh, or even yummy. a chicken it would work really well so go on then go for so, it yeah so basically we're going to blitz up um all the ingredients to make the marinade which is onions garlic um a little touch of um lemon juice lemon zest uh, and then some spices so the spices we've got uh, cumin, turmeric, uh, smoked paprika and chilli powder. Beautiful. Uh, that. Yeah, wow. so it's got a real kick to it. Um, but again, with the yoghurt, it, you know, it really helps balance yeah. it out. So a uh, little bit of lemon zest, which sort of... The citrus just really helps to marry all the flavours together as well. Um, quite a bit of oil. Um, it just use, you know, good olive oil um, or rapeseed oil, even if you've got... And then herbs. Um, a handful of parsley and a handful of coriander straight in there. Um, mm, good I amount can of salt. Smell it already. It's not so good. Good amount of salt and just give it a quick blitz. Um, it's like a paste. Like so. Yeah, exactly. It's exactly like a paste. Uh, it's actually quite thick, as you can see. And then what we're going to do is simply just I swear it's really mm. sort of um, yeah, quite aromatic, quite fragrant. And then literally all we're going to do is take this and smear it all over to the lamb. Um, and can you use any, what lamb is that? Is that like that's a leg, a leg of lamb, lamb, leg that, lamb. but it's uh, boneless, so you can, you can pick those up in the supermarket or just ask your butcher to do it even, okay. um, you know, or unless you wanted to use something like lamb chops or something. And then literally that's what you want to do... There, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, and you know, you really want to sort of spread it all over, um, and then what we're going to do... Would you, you know, put it underneath as well? Yeah, you go it really I get it into there. I love that underneath because that's the stuff that goes a bit crispy. It goes well crispy the bottom, in the tray, it? yeah. And then all those juices in there are just really great as well. So that, that then goes into the fridge. Now, you can sort of leave that um, for anything up to a day to marinate, which is, which is really sort of key to... Because there's so many sort of strong flavours going on in there. Um, and we've got one that's actually marinated up here. Um, and basically what we've done now is take a lemon straight in half in the bottom of the tray, uh, a little bit of garlic, Tiny little bit more salt on there, like so, and then take a little tiny drizzle of olive oil as well. Um, and you want to leave this uncovered as well, because the great thing is that will go sort of really nice and crispy on the outside and really sort of get into the meat. So that goes into the oven uh, about sort of 160, 170 degrees uh, for about an hour and a half. Um, and that will sort of be blushing, so it won't be pink, medium rare, it will just be nice and blushing in the middle. Um, you leave it to rest? Yeah, leave it to rest. We've got one here that's resting. It's actually quite simple, isn't it? You mm -hmm. always think like a big a sort of joint meat like that, you just go, oh, roast, it's a bit scary. But actually, once you've yeah. done all that bit, yeah, oven, yeah, done. exactly, yeah. And then, you know, it's it's really then about the resting, especially with a joint like this, to really let it rest, become lovely and tender. You can't really let um, it rest too long, can you? Just, just, just yeah, let it go. Yeah, 15 minutes is yeah. fine, yeah. Um, so what are you then, doing now? Uh, tzatziki. So this is um, yogurt base, uh, cucumber, really sort of roughly chopped straight in You've there, taken like the skin so. Off that. Yeah, taking the skin off and the seeds off, just because they're a little bit watery, so they don't really work too well with it. Uh, and then just a nice handful of mint, roughly chopped, uh, and do this at the last minute, so you sort of really get that lovely fresh mint flavour in there. Oh. Um, and then a little bit of garlic as well works really nicely in this. And keep it sort of really sort of roughly chopped, nothing too raw garlic. Fine, uh, yeah, just crushed raw garlic, not too much. That's uh, quite powerful, isn't it? Yeah, only a clove of garlic straight in there, like so. Uh, a little pinch of black pepper, and then a little drizzle of nice olive oil. And then what we're going to do is just stir that through. Oh my That's goodness. it, really simple. Can you just eat a bowl of that. Well, you can in a minute. Oh, yeah, right. and it, this is. <laughs> <laughs> And th this is great, you know, with things like... That you know, raw just garlic, though, Jimmy Nistry will talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's it, just stir that through. Really simple. <sighs> um, so, yeah, and the, the lamb's, like I say, it's been resting for a little while. Oh. Um, lovely, you know, nice little crispy bits on the outside. And then all you want to do is just carve that straight up. Um, you know, get a knife through there, like so. So it's sort of lovely, you know, it's just got a little bit of colour in there, nicely, mm. like that. Um, 
And yeah, you know, serve this with, I think that, you know, it's great with things like salads, um, just because it's sort of, you know, again, it's quite summery, quite fresh. Oh, it's so delicious. Um, yeah, um, and then a lovely sort of dollop of this, you know, really lovely sort of tzatziki. Um, and then salad, I've gone with um, spinach, lamb's lettuce, chicory, so sort of quite crunchy, quite fresh. And then just help yourself to a little bit of salad. And is, that, is that chicory, that one there? Yeah, that's the white chicory, yeah. It's really mm. sort of, you know, crunchy, uh, really robust and works really well. Um, you, th these just here for decoration, or are you no, going to eat them? No, so basically with these, the garlic can be really sweet and lovely, and then what you can do is get a little bit of the lemon, just literally oh. squeeze it on top of the lamb, because um, the lemon juice works really so that's well the lemon that it. you cooked it with, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness! I'm I so can't excited. tell you how good this is, and it should be, you know, sort of spicy. But you not hate us crazy. right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. so, yeah. And your food, which is in your book, which is yep. Luke's cookbook, it's nice and simple grub, and that absolutely, was really simple yeah. to do. But just with your own little bit of a twist, yeah, something to make it a bit different. It's taking sort of, you know, lovely flavour combinations that oh we know, lamb God. and mint. Having a little play around with it, nice and simple to cook at home. And what age are you now? I'm 20. 20. How many restaurants have you got? Uh, two, and just getting ready to open another one. You should be eating yeah. beans on toast. <laughs> 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 on a plate that's two days old. Yeah. <laughs> that is, is absolutely stunning. It's ridiculously good. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. I know, I don't want to stop, and I won't. <laughs>